yo, 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 yo. This your homie Hood, man. Definitely like and subscribe on my page, my channel right here. I actually got to do some workouts because I'm getting extra fat around here. All right, let's break this down. The life of a filmmaker. How to stay super fat and how you got to work your body to not let it happen to you like that. I'm going to hit y'all right back in two seconds with the info. Oh, wait a minute. This is going straight up live, so I probably ain't going to have an intro on this. I'm trying to talk to y'all without having to hold a machine, but it looks like I got to hold a machine. Uh, I'm going to these back in and prop it up. Oh, that didn't work. Anyway, so what's going on is I am putting on a lot of weight. We had the holiday season just slide through here. We had Christmas, Thanksgiving, and it seems like it's since like September, I just eat whatever. But what happens is to do filmmaking and to do this craft called filming, which you already know because you're on YouTube and you probably make videos for YouTube. But what happens is you have to sit down a lot. So you're looking at your phone editing something, you're looking at your computer editing something. And this is every day. This is not once in a while. This is your practice. In order to do this, you have to actually get your butt up and go do the work. So what does that mean? You have to sit your butt down a lot. So sometimes I get up at six in the morning when my lady leaves for work and I don't sit down. Well, I don't leave the computer. Ultimately leave it till like about 9 p.m. That's when I say that's it. I'm, a, I'm almost exhausted after about 9 p.m. So from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m., I'm locked in on the computer. That's just that. Y'all can't see me that good, but I can't prop it up right now because I don't feel like stopping it. But I am gonna stop. It. Just hold on. I can find a, I can find a prop up too. In here. So basically. Oh, I'm actually freaking dizzy. <laughs> I gotta slow it down a little bit. Cause uh this might work. Just something to hold it up. So, bam, see? It worked like a shamito. Alright, there we go. And start again. <coughs> so, ah, shit. Shoe strings. I'm not tired up here. All right. So here's the scenario. As I'm putting on all this weight, I'm not working out, y'all. I just gotta keep it alive. I'm not working out, I'm not hitting weights, I'm not walking. I got a car, so I'm gonna ride, ride there where I wanna go. I'm drinking brewskis at night. I'm smoking runts. Probably 90% of the time, I'm on my computer. So my body is just taking in all kind of shit. And here's the other part about this. I eat fried food, literally since I was a kid. So, I know I need a diet change. I know I need to work on trying to keep myself in better shape, in better condition. I understand this, I get it all. But right now, I'm just out here just trying to work my body a little bit and start the process because the more you don't do it, the more you got to do it. And that's why I'm at right now. So, I had a dope idea just now about a script too, but I'm catching headaches. So that's the reason why you see me trying to pump a little walk going because I'm getting headaches and that's coming from high blood pressure. Fried food, no exercise, bad diet, the high blood pressure kicking in and it's making me get headaches. In the morning when I wake up, like I'm literally not even leaving the house. I'm like, when you first come to and you land on the pill, and then you're like, shit, what the hell wrong with my head? And it's like you got a headache when you first wake up. And man, I actually like to work out. I like doing physical shit. But I live in the Midwest, Chicago, and it's literally freezing. 
woke up the snow this morning. So it's like, fuck, man. So I'm trying to move back to the West Coast. I was living on the West Coast like 10 years ago. And then I left because I wanted to be in my kid life. I didn't want to be sitting up under no bitch ass faggot nigga trying to be my boss in filmmaking. Because in Hollywood, you have to have a job. So I just decided, fuck that, let's go make movies our own self. And I live like that. But I want to flip back up there because, you know, it's always opportunities popping. And I'm good in this game. I do this shit. So I want to get out there and start fucking around a little bit. Only reason why I'm running a little bit is because I got the machine going pretty quick. And walking fast is cool, but I'm going to pick up my heart rate. So I said those things to say that y'all probably see me on here like once a day or something getting in a little workout. I don't know how consistent I'm gonna be, but normally I like to work out outside when I'm like hooping. You know, it's weather right, feel good. That's what I miss about LA. So, cause I could do filmmaking anywhere around the world. Shit, it's digital now. You don't need no white balls no more. But, but hooping, hooping, you can't do that every day in Chicago. It's five or six months when you can't do a period. So, when I play one-on-ones with somebody in the summer and I beat the shit out of them, that comes from sheer skills. Because it's a lot of months you can't even hoop. You can't do shit. Some people hoop indoors. I'm not really indoor hooping too much. I will do it, but I'm a, I don't want choice. I like outside, sunlight, heat. So, I know I gotta start running now. I had to take ibuprofen this morning. I'm fucking head kicking my ass. And I just woke up. I'm like, what the fuck? Well, if you look up high blood pressure, first thing they say is, you gotta stop smoking. Ah, uh, fuck. But I love smoking. I'm a weed smoker. So, I'm trying to kill that. I'm trying to run a little bit. Beat this body up get myself back in shape so that when the weather comes, I can win games again. I'll be 48 this summer. So, got the tread me in the crib. Just gotta jump my ass on it and kill some body fat and quit waiting on the weather to change. So, I ain't gonna be going too hard because I had to take some out your profile. So, I don't know if that's gonna fuck with me in my head. But I want to get them to do a little something. And I mean a little something. Not no big thing. This is gradual for me. But if I get in shape fully, y'all will be there for the whole round. But this is my first day back. Things like January 15th or 14th. Oh, shit. Ah. So, as you can see, I'm fat. I'm overshaped. I ain't got that many minutes in. I'm going to keep it alive. But I tried. Ooh, fuck. I need some water. Man. So, when I start like this, I'm able to... When I just got them to start up, hmm. I got a few little weights and shit. Oh, down here that I could fuck around with on my weight loss journey. But that was the first time I literally moved my body. I'm out of shape and I'm out of breath. But I get back. That's not hard. It's just mentally telling myself to start. I didn't activate Whew. That wasn't even 10 minutes right there. So I'm not disappointed. I'm actually happy because I've started again. But I got a long way to go. So I got to get ready to take a shower and drink some water and try to beat this headache from uh, high blood pressure and eat salt, salty foods. I had a pizza last night, 
as soon as I, it, I, I hadn't eaten them that much, I ate like two pieces and then I set it back. It was only four slices. By the time 30 minutes went by, I smoked a little bit and I came back with them last two small pieces. All I tasted was salt. I'm like, what the fuck? So I know I'm eating foods that's high in salt. So by the time I take it in my body, it's actually responding in a negative way. So whew, I'm out of shape and I'm out of breath, but at least I tried. So we got to drink some water and try to get this. Uh... So every day, man, I'm gonna try to jump on that treadmill. Try at least do 30 minutes. Or oh, 10 minutes or five minutes. I don't have a limitation on it like that because I look at it like as long as I'm doing it. That's not what I have to do because I want to be in shape. I don't want to be no fat slob. I don't want to be out of shape and physically can't take care of himself. So, you know, I'll be 48, so I'm not getting young, I'm getting old. So. put on a lot of weight Whew. when I sit up on that computer like that for hours I'm not really getting up and if I do get up it's literally to go lay down because you get sleepy sitting on a computer for fucking 15 hours editing looking up stuff making stuff perfect for my stores I got a store on amazon.com called hood films I got a store on um, walmart.com called hood films you can see the products on there so just go to those stations and check out the products and uh that being said, I've just sit on the I don't even realize I'm on a damn computer that much until something physically go wrong with my body. Like, I'm getting headaches. Or, I can't touch my toes. You just start putting on weight. This is not the first time this happened to me. A long time ago, when I stopped working on this documentary for the city, I was back around my crib again. But it had been like three years that I was working on a documentary for the city of Chicago. And so, when I got back around the crib, it's the same routine. You sit on the computer. For 90 hours a day get your shit done edit produce whatever but oh, i saw myself eating a whole pack of bacon sitting in the crib like a whole pack in that morning and uh didn't realize i was doing it for a while and then after a while it's like damn i'm going through a whole pack of bacon when we buy this shit what the fuck am i doing and eventually i had to still kick back off of that but then i afterwards man boobs i had man boobs bad heavy so it's like shit trying to work yourself back out i started going back to la real heavy and then um my body got back in tone but then when you come back to chicago where you have the weather it's so hard here you don't want to be jogging you see people doing it but that's just not my swag so i just be a fat biscuit like oh my god i gotta get right so now i'm back reinvigorating this page talking to y'all on this channel Y'all gonna watch me do my weight loss journey. And that's what's gonna happen right here. Because in the spring, in the summer, you gonna catch me hooping anyway. If you scroll down on this page, you're gonna see me hooping on here because that's my life. You know what I'm saying? I actually do that. When the weather comes, I try to hoop every single day. I don't try to miss a day. It's not like I'm trying to win some contest or, or beat somebody. It's just that you got a short time in Chicago to hoop. And then certain areas is so violent and gang gang that you can't even really go there to hoop. Because you can be hooping and catch a bullet. So it's like you got to get it in while you can. So hopefully in my future life, I'll be living somewhere warmer where it's like you ain't got to worry about that. Maybe the court is in the house. Maybe the court is in the backyard. And I can just go out there and fuck around to keep myself in shape. So that being said, I'm going to let y'all get back to y'all life. Thank you for watching this. This is the side of my weight loss journey. You can almost say this is part one. So I'm going to get back to this and y'all going to see what to do. Now, I ain't committing to this because I know some of y'all really are weight loss people. Y'all do dieting. Y'all not fat folks. But like me, I didn't used to be like that. But at my age now, my metabolism slowed down. It's like, man, I don't feel like working out. But I get back acclimated. I'll be doing some diamonds. I'll be running, doing some sit-ups, leg lifts, yoga, all that shit. So. I'll holler at y'all in a minute, man. Check out my other shows on here and my other uh, videos. I got a new movie out called Killer Rapper right there on the front of this movie. This channel is called Killer Rapper. Check it out. It's dope. It's an hour long. I wrote it, directed, starred in it, produced it, everything. And I'm grateful for y'all's support. Holler at y'all in the future.